All right, I'm here with Western Albemarle head basketball coach Darren Maynard. His Warriors won a hard-fought game over the Warriors of Nance. Remember today in the Virginia Preps Classic 12th Annual Event, session number two today, coach, and you moved to 13-4 and four overall. A much better showing than a year ago in this event against Green Run. You guys are healthy, now, obviously, now with Tommy Mangrum inside. What a performance he had, 31 points today. You guys see him all the time, but he was extra special today, wasn't he? Yeah, he played very well today. He was very efficient today, too. Um, he, he sort of stepped up when we were uh, a little bit rattled by their pressure and uh, carried the day for us for a while there by himself, and then other people chimed in and played very well. Speaking of the Nance River coaches and people just watching you guys, your size is really noticeable when you walk on the court. How much has that been an emphasis I mean, from day one for you guys to pound the ball inside of Tommy, Henry Sullivan, and all your Ford guys? Yeah, it's been a big weapon for us. It's really been a big weapon for us defensively. Our, our, our really tall guys are really young. One's a freshman, one's a sophomore. So they're still kind of learning on the offensive end, but they're very good on defense already. Tell me about, we know Tommy's going to uh, Hood College, but tell me about the freshman and the sophomore. Sullivan, I think he had a key block late as well as Mangrum. That really helped you guys keep the lead as they were coming back. Yeah, he, he played really well tonight. His energy level's great. He, he's long, lanky, gets off the floor really well. He had a big dunk for us there to sort of turn the momentum a little bit. Uh, I thought he played exceptionally well. Josh is coming a long way, too, for a freshman. He's going to be really good and, and going to get a lot of interest for some people uh, as we go along. Sure. And you guys have been in the state tournament before. You ran into some buzz saws from Tywater and Phoebus and Norcom. Today you beat a Nance River team with a really good score in Justin Fatherly. What's this do for the confidence this bunch as you go back to the Jefferson District and make a, try to make a run here in uh, Class 3? Yeah, this was a great win for us and a great experience because we played some athletes that uh, probably a step ahead of what we would normally play against, so that was really good for us to go through that. I mean, we play some quick people, but I think Manson River is probably a step or two a little bit quicker than some of the people that we play. So we struggled with that a lot early, but got a handle on it late, so I think that's really good for us going forward. And, the points we'll get out of this game will really help us in our regional seating, so it's big for us. Well, and you're used to when you play your brother Greg at Albemarle, and I mean, Coach Young's been around for a long time in Nance, but this felt like a really well-played, well-coached game where it was back and forth for a lot of the game. You were down five to start the fourth quarter. What did you do to kind of swing the tide? Yeah, I think our guards settled in and we handled their pressure a little bit better and actually got into some of our stuff, and I thought we attacked the basket really well. I thought our kids processed some late-game situation stuff that we wanted them to do uh, as far as breaking their press and and keeping the ball, making them foul us and stuff. We didn't have any turnovers down the stretch. I thought that was huge. Two more for you. Let's run. Um, where have you guys improved the most from game one to now this season? Um, probably on the defensive end. Uh, you know, we, we're a pack line team, and I think we do it really darn well most nights. Uh, and I think our guards have improved a lot, too, handling the ball and taking care of things. Uh, that didn't show up too much in the first half tonight, but it did in the second half. <laughs> Well, you guys have been knocking on that door for a few years now. You got to a state championship game a couple years back and ran into John Marshall, who had a right. team of like, like pros. But yes. this year, I feel like class three is wide open because John Marshall's moved down. Morgan doesn't have the studs they've usually had. I mean, do you feel like, all right, it's anybody's for the take. We know Cave Spring spots. A lot of good teams in class three, but I mean, if you guys get hot, you can make it some noise here. Yeah, we, we'd like to be a, in that mix. We think we can be, we have the talent to be, uh, but it's hard. Our region's really good. Uh, so even getting out of that's tough, but we hope to get out of it and get the state tournament and see what we can do. Well, thank you so much for participating. Congrats. Congrats, Lemon. We'll see you soon. Yep. Thank you.